Hi everybody. Um, it's that time again that I'm going to be starting my new uh, Indiegogo fundraiser, trying to raise enough funds to keep, continue Heather's Lyme disease treatment. And I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody online, Heather's online loving family, Redbubble, Facebook. Um, without all your love and support, uh, donating, sharing the fundraiser link, uh, always being there for her throughout this journey of healing. Um, I don't know, you know, where we would be without all your all of your support. Heather absolutely, you know, thrives on all the support that that you show her. It, you know, it helps her every single day, and. From my heart, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody. Um, this March, we went back to uh, New we went back to see the U.S. Lyme literate doctor, and Heather was uh, fifty percent better from Lyme, and this is due in part to that amazing Lyme literate doctor and her chiropract her chiropractor and naturopath as well, and also. Uh, Heather's pure inner strength. She wants her life back. She desperately wants to be better. Now, she's been on the same antibiotics for the past 18 months, and um, everybody knows that it is possible for the body to um, develop a resistance to the to those medications. Now, um, a couple weeks ago, March 22nd, actually. Uh, we were just sitting here at home, and all of a sudden she's like, ow! And looked down at her leg, and it looks like she got bit by something. Still to this day, we don't know 100% what it was, or where it came from. Uh, we have assumptions as to where that came from, but the point is, she was bit, and since that day... Uh, the bite mark itself actually got uh, infected, and uh, they were saying cellulitis and all kinds of things. Went to the eMERGE three times, and they just basically upped one of the antibiotics that she's currently taking in hopes that the infection would come down. And it did, but now it seems a lot of her Lyme symptoms have returned. Uh, troubles breathing, swollen knuckles, uh, painful joints, uh, the huge bouts of chronic fatigue, uh, and you know we're just really really worried not knowing 100% um, what is happening so we are going back to New York actually on Monday in a couple of days uh, to see the Lyme literate doctor and, you know, hopefully we'll have more answers then. Um, also, too, just within this year, uh, Heather has actually had shingles three times. And that doesn't even include uh, last year, which was another three to four times. So this year, already three times. And that's because her, you know is because her immune system is compromised by Lyme, so she's more susceptible to um, things like shingles. And since we already know the virus is in her system, it can spring up at any time. And it leaves her with um, prostopedic neuralgia, which is pain of the nerves. So, again, if you can please you know, please help us donate even a dollar. Um, spread this, spread the word of this link to anybody that you can, any of the social media outlets. If there is a good chance that Heather's medications will change, and if that's true, they're going to be even more expensive. Um, the treatment and everything that she requires is getting is getting more expensive. And I'm working two jobs, um, just trying to make sure that there's 
trying to continue her treatment. However, I, I will just do whatever is needed. And I couldn't do this without all of you. So thank you very much. Um, now that the warmer weather is coming, I'm actually going to be hitting the streets of downtown Ottawa again, like I did last year. I'm going to paint myself green and tr do my best to raise awareness for Lyme and also to um, hopefully hopefully generate more donations to help to, to continue Heather's Lyme treatment. Um, so if you are if you're in the downtown area of Ottawa, um, if you see a uh, <laughs> very tall girl painted green, um, please come up to me. I'll have uh, information packs. I will have uh, flyers for this new Indiegogo campaign. Um, just please stop and talk to me. I'll be more than happy to talk to you and let you know about anything you wish to know about Lyme. On a uh, happier note, um, this winter Heather got to spend a lot of time with her beloved snowy owl. Three and a half years ago, before Heather was diagnosed with Lyme, when we didn't know what was going on, you know, um, emergency room after emergency room at the hospitals, countless doctors, and still no answer, Heather saw, Heather wanted to photograph snowy owls, and she found this absolutely beautiful goddess, and just watching this owl and how how you could see her will to survive, carry on, um, hunt, such a strong will to live, Gay inspired Heather so much that <clears throat> she wanted to change everything about her life for the, for the better. And so she did. And each year this owl comes back and it renews Heather's hope and you know continues her will to keep fighting and keep fighting Lyme and when you view this page if you look at the bottom or sorry if you look at the tab that says gallery you will see a wide variety of wildlife pictures, including several pictures of this beautiful owl that she loves so very much. So again, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody. We couldn't do this without you. And I hope that I'm calling on all your help again. Let's continue to keep Heather on the path to healing. Keep her getting better. I want that 50% better to be a 60, to be a 70, to be an 80. And I will do anything I can to ensure that that happens for her. And I know all of you support her in this, on this journey. So thank you very much. And when I have more updates, I'll make another video. Thank you very much.